Yeah, there we go. I said just as we just as we was getting going, I said to Ben, the audio, um, turn it up. It's up, mate. You ain't getting no more up than that, really. Uh, I said to Ben just before we go, the the cable that's holding this uh, microphone in is uh, dog shit. Yeah, shit. It's really loose. So I think that's probably been causing so many issues that we've been having. Uh, thank you everybody for joining us as usual on Thursday night. If you're listening to us on iTunes, can you drop us? Oh shit, a uh, a cheeky um review on there because the review helps it get found i'm just going to read out some of the reviews that we've had on itunes so if you've left us a review i'll give you a shout out um where's my podcast it's not that one it's that one um that's not where you find it actually you have to find it there so go to finger search house and you will find it because there's not really any other fucker called house that's got a podcast nine reviews all five star let's have a look at the reviews uh someone says mint and that was april 2016 uh, so. June 2016, just five stars, good. September, love the passion for United and Ramblings, and must watch for the Red Devils. The recent ones, 21st of March, when was that? Two days ago, yesterday. No. That was from Fat Man 2016, quality podcast, great range of topics, from UFC to moon landings, uh, something for everyone. Uh, on the 10th of March, Colossus 47, if you're a fan of football, UFC, Man United, Joe Rogan, and Conspiracies, this is the podcast for you. So thank you, motherfuckers, for uh, dropping some... <laughs> Uh, reviews there for us on iTunes. You can find this on iTunes. It's on Castbox if you're one of them Android weirdos. Uh, we are live on YouTube at nine ish every Thursday, uh, unless there's a uh, Joe Dawson says he wrote one. Thank you very much, much appreciated. Um, so yeah, you, you can fucking find us on here on Thursdays if you like. And also, I've uh, I've just switched up what was the MUFC latest Facebook page. Three hundred eighteen thousand motherfuckers like it. It's now been changed into the Stephen Alson podcast. We will be going live on there as well, but I've just not had time today to get it started. I've been all over the place. Uh, just been off... Um, what's its fucking face? Excess Manchester. Had a pretty decent chat there. Chatting shit about international football. Chatting shit about... How can you find that much time to talk about it? I can't even be asked listening to talk sport. Me, it was, well, it's, it's like fucking... I threw out on Twitter, like, I wasn't joking when I said... Uh, there's some new Dave Chappelle shit just dropped on Netflix if everyone wants to tune in. I watched... It's really good. I watched Flash last night. Flash? Oh, my days. As in Flash Gordon? As in, like, yeah, Barry Allen, Flash. Fastest man alive. Oh, no, that's that Zoom Zoom guy, isn't it? Not... Yeah, not Flash. Ah, uh, yeah, not... not How's it go? You know, ah... Uh, <laughs> I'm not, get, not getting into the singing. That's exactly what they were doing on Flash last night. Because these motherfuckers, they're out of glee. So there's a crossover episode with Supergirl. If anyone watches it, but anyway, I was like, "What the <laughs> fuck? This is most cheesy shit I've ever seen." It, they basically were trapped in a musical, and they just sang all the way through. So all I did was skip it. It probably would have been better. Hang to on, watch. hang on. You was watching this on your own? No, with my missus. Oh, right, okay. Fucking hell. well, even if I was, what's the problem? <laughs> you got a problem with musicals? Yeah. What even like uh, Team America? Do you know what? Do you know when, like I, I obviously got no, nothing against gay people. But sometimes you, a song comes on and you don't turn it off and you go, it's a really gay song, that, isn't it? Really yeah. gay song. And not only that, when you sing it with all your heart, then you know, How don't you? How often do you do that? Well, daily. <laughs> I do, mate. There's I, a, I know there's a song of... that, and I'll, I'll show you my history. I ain't, I ain't playing. There's a song that's definitely fucking... It's on the, it's on the list anyway for... Uh, you might be in a different club. That's... Uh, Spice Who Girls. do you think Spice... you are by the Spice Girls? You've got the Spice Girls Greatest Hits there. I ain't downloaded it, look. Yeah, but you still play it. No, it's on, it's on I searched to, for that shit. To be fair, you you to be fair, when the Spice Girls first come out, mate, that was, there was like... Oh, dial... I, was like I was 11. That was Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Dial-up internet days. <laughs> and you're thinking, Ross, all these apart from Sporty Spice. Yeah. She's definitely a baghead, isn't she? She's just... She weren't good. She now, weren't good. who but... did you first latch on to as the one that you, you fancied? For me, it was Scary Spice. <sighs> Absolute like smoke that. show when she was young. Yeah. Then she morphed into the guy out of uh, Bo Selector a little bit. <laughs> yeah, <I like laughs> That's all I can think of when I think of her now. Mm. <laughs> I like Posh Spice first. But then it was... Um, I remember, Yeah, I remember like, yes, Gary Spice. Yeah. Out, yes, <clears throat> Never really got the Emma Bunton. I think thing. she's the one now, you know. Yeah, probably. But And Jerry was just a fucking... Do you remember when she was... She's gross. <laughs> yeah, but they was like, back in the day, like, you know, get these... Um, oh, I didn't send you that. I've got all these um, Jennifer Lawrence Favourite nudes. Spice Girl song, Two Become One. Yeah. Uh, you know them Jennifer Lawrence nudes? <laughs> yeah. Someone sent them Allegedly. Me. Well, no, they are. I've got 50 of them on my phone. I, I heard, <laughs> heard Hollywood <laughs> Booby. I dropped some. Nah, that's fake. 
Oh well, I will. Anyway, Google. Oh really? Yeah, I've got it. Look. Yeah, do you, do you want to see it? I've got it. Someone sent him. I don't think you can show him on there. No, obviously I'm not going to show him get, on there. Get it, it from there. It's not. It's not real anyway because it was. Um, basically, that's the picture that someone sent me. And I was like, uh, yeah, fucking hell. So I sent it to a few people, and then people were like, oh my God, you made my week, you made my week. And then uh, the guy said, the next day he's it's like, like, someone's eye out that. I know, I was thinking, <laughs> fucking per them, aren't they? And then that's actually who it is. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, but then, yeah, these. Uh, some, oh, guy some... in the comments here saying, Jerry all day, what? Yeah, but do you mean, that's what, what I was saying about these leaked nudes, yeah, is do you not remember them Jerry Hall- Halliwell ones when she used to pose nude? Fucking hell, I, I like printouts of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at these. Like, obviously, that's nothing, but, you know, gets more risque. There's 50 of them, so obviously, I'm not going to show you more because I'll be here all day. I, I'm not going to sit here and pretend I ain't already seen them all, so. All right. You know. <laughs> this is the best one, the last one. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't seen that one. <laughs> yeah, you have now. Fair play. She loves it. Two in the pink. Um, ginger Spice. No, no, no. Sporty was a scouser. Enough said. It wasn't just that she was a scouser. She was just a tramp. Ah, she went nice. She did a good song with... Uh, Brian was Adams. With, was it with Left Eye? It was with someone. That was a pretty good one anyway. Never be the same again. That was a good song, that. That was the only one that did... Uh, I think it. Look at Samuel Coulson in the comments here. Getting giddy. Fucking... This is what happens when there's no fucking Premier League on. <laughs> Sitting here talking about the fucking Spice Girls and leaked nudes. I'm enjoying the conversation. Well, I, 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 I sent, I sent one. Yeah, so I sent it to Farky, and he sent it to AK, and he's like, "Oh, he's got AK's got a request. Can you get him a Selena Gomez news?" I'm like, "What the fuck do you think this is?" <laughs> like, give me five minutes. Shit. See what I can do. Do you, do you know how good I am on computers? Not very. <laughs> <laughs> I just get what people send to me, and I'm just sharing the love. You know what I mean? Not publicly. Oh, it's Joe Dawson in the comments says quality video in, in Manchester with Adam. Do you know how fucking I just did not want to be there doing that? We was asking just, when today. Uh, what day was it? I was chatting to Farky like I'm debating killing myself here. Um, what do we do? We had to go to Piccadilly Gardens and we were just stopping members of the public. I don't what, mind doing what, that. What were you trying to do? Sell your CD? Nah, the uh, I know in it. We were standing. Really? Does that actually happen we were, now? Yeah, we were standing in between the charity blaggers. So oh. I'm just like everyone's in get fuck mode. Yeah, aren't yeah, they? yeah. Get out my fucking face. So when you're standing there with a camera, um, and we're. Uh, we was asking, is it Joe's here or is it Fergie? That video's just gone up on Full Time Devils. Feel free to check it out. You see me in the intro and you see me in the closer. And then you don't see me. Because I did not want to fucking be there doing that. <laughs> I really didn't. Uh, so uh, I was... Do you want to give £2 a month to support the Full Time Devil cause? No, we was, we was asking, do you yeah, want no, to... No, uh, who made this quote? Was it Fergie or was it Jose? And to be fair, it was 50-50 down the middle. I don't mind doing it at United because obviously we have to talk to people at United. Yeah. Everyone there wants to talk about football yeah. though. We're stopping old ladies. We're stopping random fucking goths and weirdos and... Just to get a soundbite. Yeah, to get a... Who did this... And I was like, this, I don't think this is going to work. I, I haven't seen it, how the video came out. I reckon it probably look all right, to be honest. But, uh, yeah. if Actually, if you notice, I think it's in the intro. It might be in the outro. In between me and Adam, there's a mural on the wall because we filmed it in Northern Quarter. That's just uh, truck thump. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen it. I know See if you can spot it in the, uh, in the video. Anyway. Yeah, when it was um, it first uh, got done. Derpy says, ha, could tell how someone could not be asked. I think it definitely comes across. Yeah, uh, someone said, wondering why Adam was answering all the questions. Because I was standing behind the camera going, I don't want to be here. <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> it's it is, about, was yeah. paid a five for a guy selling a CD. And turns out it was a blank CD. Yeah, but oh, you they, know what, they you come what? chasing you with, uh, with USB, USB drives as well. No, yeah, 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 fucking tra- messing about. No, no. And, and probably with a PDQ, PDQ machine, isn't it? Like, t- oh, I've only got a card in me. Yeah, I've got that now. <laughs> Do you see that? Like, that, that tweet you with? Yeah, what yeah. a fucking ledge. Wonder if he was getting compliment slips and shit as well. <laughs> well, he's got to do his uh, tax returns, hasn't he? So, you know. Can you imagine? Can you imagine a, a, an accountant who a drug dealer comes to with all receipts alphabetized and all my fucking expenses and everything? Well, yeah. But just not with. No, I mean, with actual. Yeah, here's, no, here's but, what my shit yeah, was, yeah. But. I'm in the hairdressers today, right? And I'd never seen three of the guys that are in there and my barber. And they're talking. I mean. Shit goes down to the barbershop anyway, innit? But they're talking so openly about one guy's trying to sell a grow, one guy's trying to buy a grow. And he's like, yeah, 
probably yield about 10 bags worth. And I was like, Jesus Christ, this isn't a potted plant then, clearly. This is a fucking operation. Yeah, I've I seen someone sell it. He was talking it, about uh, heat-proof tiles for his fucking roof. He was talking about, oh, he's got to run pipes, one for air in, one for air out. And the other guy was like, right. so this is legit. And he's like, yeah, he's like, it's bang on legit. And I've checked this out. Here's the punchline, though, because I'm sitting there. Because the guy's like, yeah, it's definitely, mate. He's like, trust me, I know how to make a grow. He goes, I'm up for sentencing in June. And I was like, <laughs> And then he goes, the guy goes, what for? He goes, got caught with a million pounds worth of weed. And I was like, fucking hell. <laughs> bab shops. Fucking ace. Yeah, sick bab. So I, obviously I that guy shop. definitely knows how to grow some shit. Right. <laughs> well, there's, there's some... So I, I, took, s- I took a card. I seen someone selling, um, selling like a, a grow, bo- grow box. And it's like ideal for a grow and all that. And there's tell yeah, I had the ex- explanation of it. Isn't it mad? The, there's the, the guys that you just wouldn't think were horticulturalists. No. Just bang at it. Sorry. Know that shit. Get it right down, man. <laughs> 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 Fucking hell. Uh, Logan in the comments, I paid seven quid for expensive blank CDs outside the Andale. Where the fuck do you know? Do you not get them to play it first? On what? I don't know. No, I've got a disc, man. I used to remember, I used to, a disman just about fit in a jacket pocket. I had one of those Umbro jackets that Fergie used to wear oh, yeah, yeah, for, rocking, for school. And it ju- you had to fucking wedge that motherfucker in, in your pocket. I was thinking about this thing, because I, I, I was thinking, oh, like, my, because iPhone and phones, are just dog shit and they just fucking break all the time. And I was thinking, don't want to really buy Beats, because don't want to look like a bit of a twat. Someone's done like a thing on it work. as well, uh, about how they're no different in terms of quality than £8 headphones, and they just add weight to them to make them feel quality. Bows are the ones you want to go with. Yeah, bows are sick. I broke my bows. Free to them, though. Make you want to rock up a bit, that, doesn't it, for a fucking Yeah, but, like, how long did it last, though? So, like, because I remember with your Disman, you used to have them little fucking headphones. It used to last you for time. What about the ones that used to dig in your head? Remember them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Metal, metal yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah. They, they was a yeah they're the ones I was making, thing. yeah. They were ones I was about. Curtis, do we smoke weed? I don't. I don't do any drugs. No. I don't. Don't smoke anymore. No. Have done previously. No, I was in the army all that time. I couldn't have done that. Oh, I, I believe someone tried to sabotage me though one night. No, <laughs> was that me? You and Andy. <laughs> Is that oh, blowing it in my face oh, yeah, one we, night when I was asleep? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we thought <laughs> you motherfuckers. Well, because we thought. Oh, obviously. sorry, it's only my career. Yeah, we just thought. Well, you know, thinking <laughs> of logic, we was we was high. <laughs> you fell asleep because I think you drove back that night. I and was obviously fucked, tired, yeah. so we thought, oh, if we blow it in his face and he gets drug tested, <laughs> he'll show up on a drug test. <laughs> Uh, obviously we didn't want you to get caught on that who needs but... mates <laughs> fuck me first time home after joining the army was it, it the first time on, it might have been in the six week break in the middle of basic training No, nah, I think you was going back on um, you was going back on a Monday yeah so it might have been that not, not a six week break it's a break at six weeks not for six yeah, weeks yeah because that was like I remember I don't know the least in the meeting so I was, my mum was away and there was a guy coming in plastering and he slept in and he come on and goes, oh, you, you've left all your tackle on the table downstairs. <laughs> I was like, yeah, and what? It's me house. <laughs> <sighs> oh, do you know what? When I used to do TV installation, I used to find some raw shit that people, obviously they uh, they have all the, the stuff be- behind the telly, yeah. all them drawers underneath the telly, that was ripe for all that sort of stuff. Um, fucking chaos. Do you know what the worst thing I found was, though? It seems like cats like to shit behind tellies. What? It's just warm, isn't it? Probably, yeah. Yeah, no, it is warm because... Um, Dusty and warm. That's hanging, that. Because you have to go behind a telly. You find cat shit there and you're like, you dirty bastards! You know, if you want to, like, to help... If you if you want to grow plants and stuff, obviously, not the plants in your loft, but plants outside in the garden to get them to, like, nurture them a bit, that's the warmest place in your house behind a TV because of all the wires and stuff. Makes sense. Yeah. But yeah, dirty cunts. You pull it behind, just fucking air for days. They used to wear like electrician's yeah. pants with Joe. They have that that fucking mesh on the knee, don't they? Joe, it's a little bit of oh, protection. Yeah, yeah. It's a little bit rawer or a little <clears> bit more like fucking hard wearing. Cat air just used to just fucking magnet onto it, and then you go behind and tell you like, oh for fuck's sake. Uh, and you got some fucking really old people's house, and you can tell they pissed themselves. And you're like, oh, whoa, whoa, morning. <sighs> like I'm just gonna open a window because I can't fucking breathe. Yeah, people, it's mad how people don't understand there's an actual stench oh, in mate, their own house. I, I went into a guy's house who was a hoarder, and it was a sick house. It's in Poynton. If mm. anyone knows Poynton, like, stop Portway. Poynton's kind of fucking loaded, isn't it, right? So I go to this guy's house, parks up, and there's just boxes, like, they open the door, uh, I think it was a 
guy in his like maybe fifties. He opens a door and there's boxes like piled up either side of the door and went, Oh, we just moved in and he went, No. Nope. <laughs> that should have been a warning sign, right? Because I, I just assumed cardboard boxes by the door, you yeah, just fucking yeah, yeah. moved in, innit? That's you know you know, and I don't really think before I fucking speak and I'm and I'm not assuming you're gonna be bang on weird. So he's only opened a door about a fucking eight inches first and I'm like, Got your telly for you. So then he opens the door all the way and then I see that oh hang on, no, there's there's literally like a path like this through the guy's house to a living room, right? And in the living room, there's probably like 15 stacks of papers, maybe nine, 10 feet high. Like, what the fuck is this? I mean, neatly stacked as well. Yeah. And I was like, okay, this is weird. And I'm looking on the floor. There's literally like a goat fucking trail through the mountains in this guy's house of just like piled up shit everywhere. And I looked through into the kitchen and I could see a table, like a dining room table. And it was just piled maybe three feet high with empty pill boxes. Fucking hell. And uh, I had to go behind that guy's telly. I went straight home for a fucking shower. <laughs> um, but I could see into his kitchen. I just thought, I don't want to go in there. Nah. Like, do you want a broom? Nope. Nope. Um, yeah, that was some fucking raw shit. Look at Elise asking football questions. You, you, you're you, not going to get football tonight, I don't think. Uh, cats took a shit in a bathtub. Yeah, cats like doing that for some reason, don't they? Fucking strange cats, you know. A hoarder. Joe Dawson says hoarder. Yeah, hoarder. They just fucking keep everything. They're not, they can't throw anything away. Um... <laughs> Every gaff is probably like that in Boynton. It's not a bad call, actually. But yeah, uh, it's been some fucking weird old places. Like, um, Pogba is like a poor man, Jaya Torre, if you ask me. What? Wasn't asking you. <laughs> um, thank you very much. So, uh, should we talk about international football? I didn't watch it. So I didn't watch it. All right, that was that then. <laughs> <laughs> fucking watching that. <laughs> that blew out. I was on Excess Manchester with was saying um, it was, um, what's the fucking thing here? Oh, he was just talking about the kit. He's like, oh, it was a really nice kit. I'm like, that's how fucking good the game was then. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, yeah seeing Rashford had the kit, but... Oh, well, Mafia who says, is there any conspiracy theories you found out about and that you now believe? The thing is, there's been some... There's been some actual conspiracy theories. Like, if you look at... Uh, was it Operation Northwoods, where they, they, they was going to uh, crash... A remote control crash or blow up a, an airliner mm. uh, and blame it on the Cubans and then attack Guantanamo Bay. Uh, and actually kill Americans that was in Guantanamo Bay just to go to war with Cuba. Uh, and Kennedy was like, what? No, fuck off. Yeah, yeah but there's um, like that Rockefeller one, isn't it? Do you know, with what happened yesterday, so there's a couple of things that I want to talk about with what happened yesterday. Um, one of the things that happened yesterday is there was an exercise on the Thames with a hand police. Did you see that? About uh, yeah. hijacking on one of the boats. Why, why is more. there always an exercise on the days? It is, it's always like, oh, you know, we're pre- well prepared for it, isn't it? And it's like, coincidence possibly but it's, it's like it's a bit rum though no. do you know here's something that I will tell you is an absolute fact and truth uh, I was working on a 7-7 bombings right and the army air corps that I was in obviously supplies uh, a flight at Hereford if you don't know what Hereford is that's where the special air service is based and them guys was working as soon as the 7-7 bombings happened they got crashed out and they was uh, following targets all around London and shit like that and they fly in military helicopters uh, 657 Squadron it's, uh, was I don't know if it still is uh, the Lynx helicopter uh, it's the one that's grey and green camouflage it mm. looks like a fucking army helicopter there's a gun hanging off the side of it you, you, it looks like some shit out of Vietnam you're like that's on top of foot the, the Prime Minister was phoned up uh, phoned, I don't know who, who he phoned up but he phoned someone up was like get them fucking helicopters out of the sky you're scaring people so they had to land and then they got a lot of civvy helicopters they were like news looking ones yeah, yeah, yeah. so they were then flying around in them but they worked for 36 hours straight the motherfuckers when that happened and uh, they landed a couple times as well, <clears throat> and I saw that was passed off as a training exercise, and that wasn't a training exercise. So some like when the seven seven bombings actually happened, there was a fucking crash out for training exercises in them fucking stations, wasn't there? But I don't know because I I've, it's like because you see all sorts of shit and you have a look, and that's why I try like not really speak about it because it's or get too much involved in it because it's like so much. And, and you people, don't know how much people have no. hidden because of security reasons. Like we don't want to. Oh, that was gone off. Oh, again, it always yeah. fucking pops out that. But there's, like, like I I seen some shit where it said the people who actually did the seven seven bombings were hired by government to try and training exercises and saying, well, this is what we're going to simulate on there. And it was only until the day when they had the actual um, back back on and they realised, oh shit, and they try this actual live this and they tried to warn people and then that that's happened. I don't know how true that is, but I have a 
that. And it's like, there's always, you, you'll never actually know no. the whole truth. Like we said last, on the last podcast, you don't want, you only know what want, you've been told. Not they nobody, yeah, happens. nobody wants you to know. That's the whole point. That's the whole point. I know some propaganda that went down in Afghanistan while I was there. There was, uh, there was an ambush on an American convoy and uh, British troops, free para, went in rock that fucking world uh it was, a, it was a cliff edge and the uh they blew up the first vehicle they blew up the last vehicle and created a killing zone in the middle where they was just fucking laying waste from the top of this cliff they got um free power landed in two chinooks um and just fucking obliterated the taliban guys that was on the top of this cliff a third helicopter landed with a lot of afghan army mm. and press and then they took pictures of the Afghan army there and that went out into the press that the Afghan army had just defeated the Taliban yeah, yeah, yeah. in this finger. I've seen it. That, yeah, that's no, that sort that, of shit. That's, that a bit, that's because they want people to fucking... So when the British pull out, they, they, they think, or they're still yeah, scared yeah. of the Afghan army. Yeah, yeah. So it happens all the time. It's not what you all know, it's what you can fucking prove. Yeah, exactly. But even then, when you can prove it... Two things that pissed me off yesterday. One, Matt Anderson, shout out to Matt, posted something on Facebook earlier and it was some fucking... Um, Proper biblical prick from America called Josh Fuenstein, right? I hate him. I've seen him just kicking off about. He's like a, I think he's a creationist. So we went in yesterday, and there was the picture of one of the civilians that had got hurt, and it's got that woman with the headdress on walking mm. past, and he's like, "Look at this Muslim woman doesn't give a fuck." And you're like, "Hang on, it's a woman in a headdress. That's all you fucking know." Yeah. And it's a snapshot. You don't know if she's just been helping and gone. I'll phone an ambulance. You don't know anything apart from what people are telling you happened at that fucking scene. Yeah, just just reacting and like, I seen that picture, and you think, "Yeah, how can how can you make a snap judgment?" Of anything. No, you don't know what the fuck happened. You don't know what the fuck happened at all. You don't know if she'd just been fucking told that one of her friends was one of the ones injured and she's trying to fucking contact her family. You don't know fuck all about fuck all. Mm. Uh, that's why I, I don't even like commenting on this that, stuff. That, that's shit. why I've not, I've not said anything on any social media. I've not reacted to anything what you're saying, whether you like agree with certain people or whether you disagree with certain people because it's just like an inflaming... Do you know the best banner? And it's a tweet that a lot of people throw out at this stuff. And it's a black and white photo. I'm not sure where it's from. And it just says, stop killing people, you fucking swats. Yeah. That's all you need to say. Stop being, everyone stop being a fucking I don't, I don't, swat. I don't watch the news. Though, like, I, I couldn't really tell you what was going on in... <laughs> Let me throw this one at you as well. One. So there's a guy on Facebook as well. Uh, and I just unfriended the cunt. So uh, I won't fucking drop his name. But he'd gone, one. I mean, the, in principle, what he's saying is correct. He goes, one. Um, don't believe everything you hear in the news. I'm with you on that one. Two, do your own independent research. What? I'm sorry. Have you? Have, was you in, in London yesterday? So no, you're not independent, and I are. You're mm. not doing research. Clicking on another website isn't fucking independent research. It's just opinion. Like what did uh, Denzel? And then, mm. Let me let me throw. Yeah, yeah. Denzel's fucking ace on that. But the next thing that he did was then link a BuzzFeed article about yeah. what happened yesterday, and you're like, really? That's your independent news source? Fuck off. But you can't. Really, you can't really trust. Any any new source? No, you can't. That's that's the problem because it's 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 all watching got, you, Mien. It's all it's all got an agenda. Well, talking about the Mien, fucking hell, they've they've. Uh, should we should we talk about football? Do we have to? I don't know. We're just going to say about like Griezmann. <laughs> I think there's some people about to fucking <laughs> explode. Uh, don't know. There's quite a few people watching. So there must be Four hundred forty-four. Yeah. Must so it's obviously gripping some fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen, do I do you believe people landed on the moon? No. No, I'm not. Well, I'm not. I'm not 100. percent Maybe no, they didn't. Maybe recently, but not. I don't but, think 1969. I'm not one. I'm definitely not 100. percent Yes, they did. Um, that was that was like a, a race between. And that was a propaganda war. Yeah, it's there's a, there was some really interesting shit I found the other day. There's, there's a guy. Oh, you know, everyone would wonder what like how you get all this time to find really interesting shit. I listen to a lot of podcasts. That's mostly it. So I found this is a website article though. I found a guy. Um, it was a guy who was uh, hacking the Soviets um, broadcast from when they were sending pilots mm. into space and they I'm going to get the numbers wrong because I don't have all the info at my fingertips here but what he said was uh, essentially Soviets said that they sent three spaceships up my guy tracked like 12 and some of them with people on re-entry going like I'm really hot and then like uh, some of them had heartbeats and yeah, then stopped yeah. and he's like the Russians had basically shitloads of failed ones that they didn't tell no fucker about. Um, and I think that... It is the fucking kicker, right? NASA definitely faked some shit. Now, did they fake some shit 
because they wanted better looking photographs. They, they faked some shit as part of training and it got out and some people think that they fucking did it on purpose as that was the thing here. Because there's definitely some fuckery afoot. Definitely some fuckery afoot. Someone getting racist in the comments. I'm sorry, I'm just going to have to block him a second. No need for that. Um, the one that's really fucked up is there's like, I think it's Michael Collins who was the uh, the pilot. He's the one that didn't get out. Uh, I think Buzz Aldrin and uh, the other motherfucker, Neil Armstrong, got out. Michael Collins was the pilot, I believe. And uh, he's... There's a video, and I, you can definitely find it if you just search all the different news hoax shit. And uh, there's a video where he's... It's all black, and the Earth's like this fucking big. And he goes, I've got the camera pressed up against the glass... And you can see how small the earth is and they're talking about you know, how far away they are, what speed they're going, all this lot. It seems legit as fuck. And then when they finish, someone says, turn the lights on. And you can see like the window's over there and he's been sat here mm. to make it look like they were further away. Mm. And you're like, yeah, it's you're, if you're in space, why do you need a light? The fact you're in fucking space is pretty impressive. Like You don't need to embellish it. You don't need to roll it in glitter. You're in space if you're actually in space. And the fact that we've not sent anyone into outer earth orbit or gone to the moon since the fucking 70s when uh-huh. they had the power of a calculator that's fuckery now people are like, it's too expensive now and it wasn't expensive then I know you think everything's hell. got fucking quicker faster and cheaper and you've not sent no one to the moon and they uh, that Van Allen Van Allen radiation they don't know if film can survive through that and not since the 70s you did it for like four years and got bored are you fucking kidding me yeah that's are you bullshit. Fucking kidding it's bullshit me? yeah but they, they just rely on people like you know, believe in a narrative and like putting enough shit out that will squash people who want to explore more and they think, well, actually, no. Because you, you sit around like 10 people and two people might have the same opinion, mm. eight, eight other people are like, oh, you're talking fucking dog shit. So then that other people, other eight people, they're, they're the majority, aren't they? The mi- minority are going to be like, <clears throat> you're going to be laughed at or you're going to be like, nah. It's it's fucking mad, isn't it? Like perception is a massive thing about everything. Perception's such a bananas weird thing. Jackson Bauer says we went to the moon. The footage was we see was pre recorded. See that's it. They might have gone to the moon, but there definitely is some fuckery afoot. The nine eleven ones, someone in the comments there said, like if you look at the way all that shit goes off and the fact that the the guy insured them twice for billions and the fact that that building seven collapsed without even being on fire and then you had three buildings collapse in the space of four hours that were on fire and that was the only three buildings that have ever collapsed due to building fire and then do i think they flew a plane into them yeah yeah do i think they knew about it yeah probably probably yeah yeah well probably did, i'm gonna say did, probably did they, fly, did they destroy the pentagon record room yeah where's the plane wreckage and that was clip that i I am. I would put. I. I. I give probability on everything, right? I, I, but I'm going to give 100 percent probability that it was flat planes. It wasn't holograms. I've seen some people trying to make it that it was holograms. It wasn't holograms, and uh, that was definitely a fucking missile like, at the Pentagon. Yeah, the, the, a seven four seven. That's just nose has just gone into it. Looks like a seven four seven with a bent nose. Not like one wheel. Half an engine from a 1944 the plane. Didn't, didn't yeah. fall, they didn't, they're not like Buzz no. Lightyear's wings, are they? They're no. not fucking. Um, fold in and and the pentagon's got one security camera on it really yeah really <laughs> really they've got 12 in every fucking bog guarantee there's no way that the pentagon's not one fucking yeah, camera bu- on it's it. bullshit you drive around you drive around like anywhere you can't get out of any place without having your car clocked these these them cameras aren't speed cameras no. the blue ones they're recording you 24 7 they got your reg plate so they know where you're going they, they can Manchester City Centre's on every corner. Like, London, it'd be everywhere. Yeah, any well, yeah, it's the most watched place in the world, isn't it? You it makes can. me laugh when people are like can't film me. Yeah, I can. <laughs> I can. Yeah, yeah, in public. Shut your fucking mouth. Yeah. I watch a lot of them videos. They, they, they. I like them videos. Do you know where people come up to like photographers and cameramen and stuff and be like, whoa, whoa, can't film me without my permission. Yeah. Like, yeah, I can. You're in public. I can't fucking poke it through your letterbox. That's accurate. <coughs> but you're in public. Oh fuck you! Yeah. Um, it was a plane collateral damage, is what they call it. Yeah, possibly. The moon landings was filmed at stage nine. Look at the Family Guy episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that documentary called Family Guy was probably legit. 
Um, yeah, that United. Stan night. says you need to visit the 9 11 memorial in New York. You get all the info you need. No, you don't necessarily. Yes, de- people definitely were innocently fucking murdered on that day. But then it doesn't about mean that there's, pe- there's still some people. fuckery. It's not all or nothing with it, yeah? They'd be like, was there probably some incom- incompetence? Yeah. Does that mean that it was all finger? No, not necessarily. Was there probably terrorists involved? Yeah. Pro- you know, this is the thing, like. We don't fucking know, but there's definitely some fuckery afoot. The way them buildings fell, they fell at near free fall speed, right? They said, oh, they pancaked down onto one another, right? If that was the case, it would have took two and a half minutes or something for them to collapse, but, not 11 seconds. But the thing is, when people come out with credible shit, then they also come out with stuff that you're thinking, mm, can you really say that? Like yeah. some people saying about, oh... Jet fuel don't melt steel beams. Well, someone said jet fuel won't burn, won't burn <laughs> Zlatan. Can't melt Zlatan. <laughs> Jackson Bauer. Um, but like, yeah, they say, oh, well, the building's collapsed and they don't collapse like that normally. It's got to be controlled. But then at the same time, they'll say, well, 4,000 Jews didn't turn up to work on that day. Like, everyone knew. It's like, oh, really? Come on, man. I, I know a lot of people didn't turn up because the New York Giants played in a, a playoff game that ended up going later than everyone. Oh, not a playoff ho- game. Was there a holiday Just, as well? I don't know. But, I mean, it's a, it's a fucking bad... Uh, it is the fucking thing. If you look all the way back, I think it was pre World War One, right? So can you imagine when the cinemas have just come out? Some news organization tried to show you I don't know if it was the I don't think it was the Titanic. But it's around then, like nineteen ten, nineteen eleven, right? There was a news organization and I'll try and find it and I'll put it on uh, Reddit for you because it's fascinating Lynn, how shit it is, right? It's like a child's fucking nativity play in how bad the acting is right so this news company pretended that they had footage of a sinking boat right Mm. when you see the footage in 2017 you go they're on a lake like like the boat in lake at fucking staley bridge like that's how shit that lake is and they're clearly actors jumping overboard and stuff like that is the most bogus bullshit thing that i've ever seen people would believe it at that point though yeah and it's like now you'd be like oh photoshop you know what i mean do you know what? I read something the other day which is um, where people go I need to see a video of that to, to know what happened and they go actually now they're that good with CGI <clears throat> that they can make Donald Trump say anything they want and it's now not going to be I need to see a video of that to prove it because their voice overs is that good as well that you're going to be like I need to see three videos from different angles on different fucking time frames just to see what the fuck actually happened with that because that is fucking crazy um, who am I blocking here? No. Who? Don't think it's that one. Yeah, it was. Who needs blocking? Someone just said block yeah, this cunt. I don't know if it's him. It is, go down, it says it there. We'll see what you say. Um, Oisin, um, we can't really say because that's uh, fucking crazy. That's classified. Yeah. Uh, Moji says, why do we go to Iraq and Afghanistan when all 19 jackers were Saudi? And why was the Bin Laden family the only plane that flew in America on 9-11 after them two was one to go and pick up all of the Bin Laden family members? Please someone explain that. The, um... Done. He's gone. <laughs> what... Well, but have you seen? Have you ever seen that video? Like uh, the Rockefellers explaining like four minutes in that. You seen that? No. It's like uh, just talking about world banks and how they control it and how the only they they literally invent money, don't they? <clears throat> yeah, they invent money. Well, well, debt is invented money. Well, it? it used well, yeah, because it used to be measured against gold and yeah. the gold billion up, up until the seventies, and then because it was called the gold standard, and then. Um, they decided to take that away and mark it against the US dollar. Yeah, because a, pa- uh, a note says, I promise to pay the bearer on demand yeah, five yeah. pounds of sterling. Oh, oh yeah. Um, but now it's, it's, measured, it's a promise to pay, not actual it's, money. It's not measured against shit now because they withdrew it because one, there isn't that much gold in circulation. Yeah. And two, they fucking sell it all to people like the Chinese and stuff. And they actually think now that maybe the Federal Reserve and, and these places, they don't actually have any gold. Because they've sold it all, or you know, or they still sell it maybe to China or whatever, or to other com- countries, and they're selling them fuck all. And, and that's they, on a never never as well. And they're, they're not collecting yeah, because well, basically the Chinese buy up all the. So yeah, I'll buy your gold, keep it there. Yeah, and, it, but and they're it, never gonna come over in a plane and be like, show right. me my gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they go, oh, shit. Yeah, so they're not measuring <laughs> against anything. So it's just like spiraling out of control. Did I also and read that so- you when they invent debt, they can invent nine times more debt than they actually hold. 
So if I go to a bank and I put £100 in, they're able to lend you £900 based on the £100 that they've got in from me. I don't so know they the actual, literally just I don't the actual numbers invent that money, though. Yeah, it is invented money. Yeah. It's, it's so like, when you pay that nine hundred back, now they can fucking nine, not a loan, not a lend nine times that, so they can lend eighty one hundred. Well, on when, the well back of that's that. what that's what they use deposits for. When you give money in deposit, then they use that money then to lend to other people. Yeah. It's even nine or three. It's one of those. So, but, or it might have been free, and then someone's like, "Fuck it, let's make it nine. But it's the it's the fiscal committee that decide everything in terms of how to you know like using quantity quantitative easing and stuff like that to. Um, reduce debt or to increase increase Google, spending google yeah to in, increase <laughs> increase public spending so that there's money in the economy that's what they do and that's how the that's how inflation and interest rates work and why they've got interest rates at like 0.25 so your mortgage and everything like that is cheaper so then it allows you to have more disposable income than to spend to boost the economy because if they put the interest rates back up it's gonna go up eventually though, oh yeah yeah it's... i mean a lot of you guys are probably under 25 i imagine but uh, with mortgages and all that lot, in the eighties, by the sounds of things, a lot of people lost their homes because they just fucking ramped up the interest rates to like fifteen, sixteen, seventeen percent and shit. Yeah, with manufacturing. Yeah, my mortgage like... is at three percent or something. I just don't know what mine is. Three and a half percent, which is mint. Uh, right, let's talk about some fucking football then before some of you guys fucking lose your minds because I think we've just gone bananas. We've got five hundred people watching. I've been some fucking achievement with some of the topics that we've covered for the first thirty-eight minutes of this podcast. Uh, uh, I did say a real good question. What did you think about the? Um, what did you think about the England fan chance last night? You're gonna have to fucking tell me what you're talking about. I think they were so singing some shit about the war. All oh, right. Which and then and then when you get twatted off Russian hooligans, you wonder why. Yeah. Uh, was Bin Laden killed? Why did he throw his body in the sea? Uh, yes, I think I, I believe. That nah, probably was. I don't that one where they're all in the room and they're all celebrating. Obama woke, woke him up. Yeah, we've got fucking Bin Laden here. We've cornered him into like a room, and now we're going to shoot him. But we're not going to show you shit, and we're just going to dispose of his body in the sea. I think that's possibly legit. Maybe, maybe it's not. Ah, that's what. See, that's you know, that's where you, I I would say that's different, and I think he was already dead. I, I do have friends that are still military though, and. I do, I do think there was some legitness to what was going on there. However, I think <clears> someone else has mentioned this. Like They might have just been in Pakistan illegally. They might have crashed a helicopter and gone, we need a really good excuse of why we was in Pakistan because we're not allowed in Pakistan. We can't just invade sovereign territory like that. And they might have gone, why don't we defrost that fucking guy with a beard? <laughs> maybe, maybe. I actually do think... You'll have, look, you'll have lookalikes. Oh, undoubtedly. Yeah. Like Saddam Hussein. We definitely found him in a hole. That was a bananas one. Uh, would I live with Liverpool fans finish above us even if we win the Europa League? Um, they finished above us two years ago, three years ago, but 2014, didn't they? When they finished second. Yeah. When when they, when they almost won the league. Yeah. Ha! I'm not asked, do you finish as bubbles if we win the Europa League and we knock them out of the Champions League spot? Sal's tedious link alert. Mate, that's quality. You have Navy shirts on today. Can we talk about the Navy SEALs? Ever seen any documentaries on them? Uh, it see, seems pretty tough becoming a SEAL. Do you know what's mental is that you can become a Navy SEAL um, like, well, you can't. You've got to be an American citizen, but you can just go, I want to join straight into the Navy SEALs. Like British Special Forces, you've got to do for, uh, four or five years as a regular soldier, you've got to have. Oh, right, so you can just join of... it from scratch. Yeah, you can just go straight in as a special forces guy. I would imagine their training's pretty tough, though. Yes, SEAL training looks like it's ninja as fuck. Yeah. Uh, I don't like getting into the arguments. It's like, who's the better player, this guy or this guy? Who's the better fucking military force? Well, soldier per soldier, who knows? You yeah. don't fucking know, do you? No. Uh, there's obviously a lot of them very well trained. What was the film that made me fully shit my pants? Nothing. I've been to war. You have to get up pretty fucking early in the morning. Have you, have you ever heard his war uh, stories? Love, when I was in the war, uh, love stories. He's like, probably. Un, he's like Uncle Anything Albert. Anything with Matthew McConaughey and it makes me shit myself. And, and or the, Jessica Parker. Now, do you know what? I shit myself when I was a kid. Like, no one will ever seen this. Blair Witch was pretty rum. First time I watched nah, it. Nah, I thought it was dog years. shit. First, first, scary, first scary film I ever watched, I think it was about 10, and we was on like a footy trip and was in Wales. And uh, the manager put on uh, Pet Cemetery. Don't, remember, don't think I've ever seen that. That was some fucked up shit. Basically, when pets died at, and at night they come alive and then they, <laughs> they went on a, like a bit of a fucking scare fest, isn't it? Uh, part of the Rat Pack says Saddam had a mini Mars room, didn't he? Uh, be gutted. King side on nothing. <laughs> <laughs> which national team is rising and which one is coming back to power? 
don't know. Yeah. You'd have to watch talking about, talking football about, for that. Talking about football. Yeah, yeah. As, as if you're talking about... There's, although there is, I believe there's a decent game tonight, there's Argentina versus Chile. That would be a good one. Fifth v. Fourth. Um, if we're in the Europa, do we bump fourth out of the Champions League? Not unless Leicester win the, the, uh, Champions, the League. Champions League as well, yeah. Uh, do we, we watch any of the Rugby Six Nations? Nope. nope. Uh, I don't even know. I couldn't even tell you what, what happens. I believe there was a game with Ireland. I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, American Sniper, yeah. That, that guy was meant to have been a serial bullshitter. Yeah. Cause, but that's how the, it's hype, isn't it? It's hype. I remember. If you got a good hype, man. man. <laughs> I mean, like, about like, woo! <laughs> if you got a fucking P. Diddy there dancing in your videos. <laughs> Come to All de- up in a video. Come to death All row. up on a record. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. That Tupac film looks sick. We've yeah. mentioned this already, haven't we? Uh, yeah, I, said, I don't want to watch the trailer. This bit of him, but yeah. doesn't have that presence. And who does, to be fair? Yeah. Uh, what the fuck was we going to talk about just then? There was a fucking great... Oh, yeah, American Sniper. I think I was in... I think I was either just going to or just come back from Iraq and one of my mates, Charlie, um, who now... has a different job, shall we say. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I can't fucking... Now I've said his name, I can't fucking say what he does. But um, he's got a cool job, let's put it that way. He scores... You need to check this book out. It's fucking sick. Like, the mm. guy was obviously going on terrible. So, uh, I read the book and I was like, motherfucker, gangster. And then you go, actually... He's just, he's just fucking lying. <laughs> yeah, they, but then they depict it, put it on a big screen and then it's... And uh, didn't it, take out any of the lies? And oh, they, they took out the Jesse Ventura one, I think. And it's true. But it? I think he's longest... Yeah, that's do the you, problem. Do you, have you, do you ever watch Vice News? Yes. Yeah. I need to start watching some documentaries on there. Like, some of the... I'm trying to get a job shit. with them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I want to go and work with Vice. Like, I was like, like... In, like, Brazil and Colombia. Yeah. Them, them doing like, them, I'm not scared. Them fucking drugs. That. Like, I spoke to one of my old bosses and I was like, do you think I could get a job going working with Vice? And he was like, I don't think they really do any football. I'm not talking about football. <laughs> I was like, I want to go to fucking civil war in Africa. Oh, or... You want to be you want to be a real journalist now? No. Right. I just want to be a, I want to talk to shit to camera. That's not journalism. That's just going experience. Well, it's like vlogging with another guy. You could you could be Ben Shepherd. Who? You know Ben. You know who Ben Shepherd is? The motherfuckers on every TV show going. I don't watch telly. Yeah, no, but you don't have to watch telly. You know who Ben Shepherd is. Well, I obviously do. He does like he does like footy shows on Sky Sports. Shit. Yeah, he this does... guy just said Tupac dies in the end. No fucking way. spoiler alert, you prick. But yeah, I mean, one of the best things I ever saw on Vice. You got uh, Shane Smith. I think he's one of the founders of it, right? And he's I in Thailand, in and he's talking <clears throat> about uh, gangsters, how they run the boxing in Thailand. All this like it's like black and white, and it's super like fucking tight shot on him. Um, and he's it's serious, and it's got like fucking moody music and stuff like that. And he's talking about how the uh, the crime families sort of run Thai boxing and uh, and this that and the other. And then it zooms out, and it the colour comes back into it. And he's sitting in a hot tub with two lady boys, <laughs> and he's got a fucking pink drink with an umbrella, in it, and he's like, ah, yeah. So that's why people come to Thailand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just uh, speaking of Thai, did you watch? I like because I didn't watch. Um, any UFC I was out on Saturday so I didn't watch any UFC and I didn't watch any, any boxing Diacase well I watched Mark DK I watched Fuck that yeah he me. fucking destroyed Joe him Paul Felder's been chatting shit like uh, calling him out mate you're gonna get that touch of death he would just blam anyone you wanna go night night no. that's how you go night night oh yeah Mark DK fair play mate. but oh yeah because I, I watched that as a real one for all. Um, what else I, watch? I was like oh, I wanna watch the Triple G Jacobs fight but before that there was um, Roman Gonzalez Um he was like 46 and 0 at the time. And he was. Uh, no way, he definitely didn't just say serious. Shut up, man. <coughs> he was, uh, he was obviously champion. And he was facing this Thai boxer called Rung Visai. It was a sick fight. Yeah. Absolutely sick. All 12 rounds. And, uh, There's he, some crazy Thai, Thai, Thai fighters beat. when they come and do Western he, he boxing. Be, they, these like, like 200 fights under the belt. I think, I think was he at Bantamweight? Oh, like light, light well away, if he was like, might have been that. He's, he'd been classed as like pound for pound best fighter, Roman Gonzalez. And he was just, they was going at it hell for leather clean they was hitting each other clean with just like some brutal shots and uh, they both like went to the end there was like mad respect for it and the um, yeah the Thai guy won because he so he was trying to go past Rocky Marciano wasn't he like uh, everyone else <laughs> um, so, uh, an Irish guy in the comments saying he enjoys it I bet you do if you're Irish because you've just got a whole different outlook I think I mentioned you know, when me and Adam went to watch the England-Scotland game on Remembrance Day I just felt like I'd snuck in somewhere I didn't belong. 
Mm. I had the Scottish fans on my left. I felt more affinity with them than anything else, really. They was having a good old fucking time. They had the dicks out. They was all on a fucking good good old fucking do. And then on here, they were just random cockneys. It was all wearing fucking like flat caps. Don't know what that's about. Just standing up and singing God Save the Queen, which we've mentioned before, in it is the most uninspiring song in the world. And you're like, who do, who do I fucking... I'm, I'm with the dicks out crew over here. No. Like, not these. All the ones we're wearing the fucking t-shirts in the corner there with the fucking un- the what's it on them? Have you seen? Is just... Piers Morgan a cunt? I, yeah, I could confirm. Definitely. Yeah, definitely, hundred percent cunt. Um, what so... do I make of the attack yesterday? Pricks are pricks. That's the top and bottom of it. Someone was asking, have you ever, have you seen the Big Short no. movie? No, you've never seen the Big Short. Is it about a robbery? No, it's about like the collapse of the financial system and how. Oh, hang on, is, is it... that a Netflix thing? Uh, yeah, it's on Netflix. Yeah, it's um, right Netflix. Is it Ryan Gosling and uh, Christian Bale and Steve Carell. No, it's based on true really story. Six, six point. You know, with like films now, it's like all, all aired up and you know they fanny about with it and just fucking dress it up and that. This is basically straight to the point, and it just cuts, tells the story really, really well based on true story. I would be the um, yeah the the mortgage market the subprime market in america and how they were just giving mortgages to anyone and it was like mortgage advisors are going to speak oh, it was 150 percent mortgages wasn't it there was there was like they were just making up shit on the fucking application form. they was putting making mortgages in you that told me about this in like the dogs names and shit like that and they were just giving him and it was like people who had no like qualifications no nothing people who was just like fucking hell gonna make bank bro like you got a job kind of have a mortgage yeah uh, yeah or is your dog is your dog alive what name can we what's name you name your dog put the fucking dog down no it? one put a mortgage in a dog's name no fucking i'm not having that yeah have i seen narcos yeah it's top no <sighs> yeah it's mad and he's like fucking hell these guys are just like enough getting one in our name yeah yeah but that was because there was no there was no post, there was post no checks no checks whatsoever yeah now it's even harder because you've got to go through the whole like uh, affordability sustainability all that sort of shit um, right, there's something that we wanted to talk about tonight uh, because there's quite a few of you have been oh, dropping. We're we getting serious now. Yeah, we're going to get serious now. We've done all the conspiracy theory talk. We've completely ignored football for a week. But what we wanted to talk to you guys about, uh, and there is 500 of you watching. Please, can we get can we get 300 likes for at 190? Let's all just smash that like button a little bit uh, and see if we can get it shared um, because there is something that we want to talk to you motherfuckers about tonight, and we're pretty deep into it, so I think it's about right. So. There's a lot of you that have been dropping um, donations in the Super Chat, and that is fucking mega appreciated. Really, uh, like, blown away with that sort of support. There's also a lot of you that have been messaging us saying, set up a Patreon so we can support you on a monthly basis. So, we've had a look into it, and we've seen, like, a lot of Patreons, it's just like, you donate, and then we'll make more content. I didn't really want to do that. I wanted just to be able to donate and get something fucking cool. So, I don't know if you've noticed uh, the Gorilla logo. In fact, should I try and pull them up? The Gorilla logo that I've got and the Stephen Allison FC logo that I've got, they were done by a guy called John. Uh, I'll, I'll just pull them up on here. It's not the podcast logo, it's a different logo. So, the Stephen Allison FC logo, that one, and the Gorilla one, which I fucking love, uh, that one was done by a guy called John who does uh, portraits of footballers and stuff like that. Um... Uh, all sorts of athletes, UFC guys, and he's, the guy's a fucking talented, talented motherfucker. So what we've decided to do is we're going to speak to you guys and find out if there's any desire from you lot to do a Patreon where we give you some prints in return for donations. But not only just prints, we want to be able to take the donations that you guys are giving um, and be able to make something banging out of them. So we want to talk to ex-athletes. We want to. That's what we need to do next, but they charge. So for us to do that, we need to bring in some cash because these don't bring in fuck all. So what? these will always be free to us. They'll always be free. If you can't or don't want to donate, don't donate. Not about that. But if you want to get something cool, then we would set up a Patreon for it. Uh, and we've not really looked massively into the prices or anything like that. But we think if you guys are up for it, at one price point, we can give you a, a print once a month for all the time that you're... Uh, uh, a patron, I think they're called. And if you want to go for a bit more of a fucking expensive one, then one thing that we've been looking into is, let's say, let's say we get a boxer on, let's say we get an MMA fighter on, or let's say we get an ex-footballer on. We speak to John, 
John does up a fucking sick original illustration of that guy with a, maybe a bit of a Stephen Alson Alf- podcast logo on it. When we do the podcast with that guy, if you're a patron at that level, we get that guy. Yes, John Sheehan, if anybody knows him. Um, we will get the, the guy that we do a podcast with, footballer, boxer, whoever, to sign a personalised thing to you guys uh, for everyone that donates at whatever price point we can work that one out for. Does that sound like something that you guys are interested uh, in? I need money one two one, which is the best name ever. So show us your dicks, I'll donate a fiver. My dick's worth more than that, mate. Um, but what do you guys think? Is um, is that something that you guys are interested in? Uh, is that something you guys... What are you saying? Who are you talking about here? Dominic Middleton. Found. Found him. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Found him. Laid us. So we're thinking that like a dollar donation to start off with. Uh, just be a thanks maybe a bit of a higher one and we'll do a bit of a private forum somewhere a facebook group maybe uh, and you guys can have a bit of a say in who the guests are you can have a bit of a say in which poster we give out to everybody we do little polls on there stuff like that so uh joe in the comments here says yes the other side says yes matt says john sheehan yes it is john sheehan uh stan says gorilla logo looks dope um UK only says Ah Shiny. I don't know actually. I, I think it would be worldwide, but we would have to look into what the score is with posting to wherever you are in the world. Um, so, you know, I guess we'll look into it. But one of the things that we want to deliver is top guests, but we'll also, we can add in extra streams. We can do some footy manager or FIFA streaming. I'll twat him at FIFA. Don't know. Behave. Uh, footy manager, no. But... Uh... What did Dominic say? Oh, he's gone. Um, Jodve says, sounds good. Um, Kevin says, good idea. Uh, Adam says, sounds like a top idea. Osama says, yes. Michael says, yes. Tom says, yes. Sounds, sounds, says, sounds. Okay. Does, does anyone think no? Does anyone think no? The other side says nope there, but I think he's already fucking said yes up above, so I don't know if he's replying to something else. Have we got any guests lined up? We've got one. We're not going to drop the name of who that is, but we will, uh, we've will. we got one that we can get pretty quickly on it. Uh, I've been talking to sportsmen's dinners companies, uh, and I'm speaking to a guy again on Monday. So we know how much they charge for a sportsman's dinner, and I'm saying I'll give you like fucking 25% of that because it's not the same, obviously, and it's an hour. Um, so some of them are saying yes, some of them are saying no, but we would be able to, if we hit the right donation number, obviously to cover the cost of paying for whoever we get, if we get that, then we'll, we'll commit to doing one a month. A month is enough for us to, to sort that out. Um, so what are you guys doing? Uh, can we do a Snapchat Q and A with Ben? Yeah. Can do. Done one before, haven't we? Yeah. Um, Jordan says it's something I'm interested in unfortunately broke some motherfucker again look it's just optional there's a lot of people that have already said um, that they, they wanted to do it there's honestly I've had maybe a dozen emails from different people saying hey look into Patreon uh, and I'm like actually I kind of already have been doing to be honest uh, Sal says I'll donate 500 if you call Messi <laughs> uh, get my last on the podcast to reveal <laughs> all about you do we want that she ain't got that much dirt on me to be honest Imos Stewart Print has got the most on me, I reckon. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, do you want to do that Q and A now then? Nope. <laughs> we also said, yeah, we might do a fucking uh, a Q and A where we answer everything. It don't go out online nowhere. So if you are interested in that, we can potentially do something like that. But if you guys are interested, in it um, get a mate that I serve with and tell war stories. A lot of the people that I serve with have gone on to do sneaky beaky shit. Uh, and can't actually talk. I'd love to speak to one of my old bosses. You know the guy that took us to court? Mm. The fucking job he had. He, he can't he do that on camera. He didn't take you to court, but he oh, yeah. escorted you. Escorted me to court, yeah. Um, I'll donate my arm and my sick if it's Eric Cantona. No, I am obviously emailing his um, his brother back and forth to try and get that organised. You Trust me, the fucking second that happens, you won't fucking hear from me for about three days because <laughs> I'll be fucking legging it to France. Um, what's Ben's Snapchat? He's not on it, as far as I know, anyway. No, I can't use Snapchat, man. Fucking, I tried it that one time when we went to Banner. He went, just fucking press that, and I was like, oh, fuck this. <laughs> um, okay, so, um, 
it seems like you guys are interested then. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll try and get it sorted out and we maybe launch it on next week's podcast. Next week's one of the only weeks in April, I think, that we don't have one. They're going to switch April, to... It's still March. Yeah, but it's basically April next it's week. still March, mate. But with, I think we've got three Thursday night matches in April. Right, yeah, while we're talking about this then, is is there anything that you guys would be interested in um, in terms of rewards or in terms of anything along those lines? Toss some ideas out. I, I built a couple of um, goals in to see what you think. So if we get $50... It's all in dollars as well. So if you get fifty dollars, you know, obviously that just means that there's a bit of a desire to people to support us. If we get two fifty, we'll start doing some footy manager streams. We'll have a couple of beers and we'll just chat utter macker. Um seven fifty is the one that we need. That's dollars for a guest. Uh, and then we do some stretch goals like uh the podcast oh, sorry, documentaries, um, some of them travel vlogs. Uh, I might be going to Bulgaria me this week. Yeah, I know you said. Uh, I'm just waiting on the answer back on that. That'd be class. I was supposed to go to um the launch of the AMAs tonight. That's why I was going to be late. The Asian Media Awards All right. at the Hilton. Do a bit of networking. Interesting. Yeah, I went to it once. So the first one, actually, 2013. It's all right, man. Um, oh, yeah, actually, I remember that, actually. Yeah, that's decent. Didn't you go... Did we sponsor it as MFC Latest? No. Didn't we? The Asian Media Awards? Yeah. No. Or did we... Not, was we not nominated as MFC Latest? No. Is your... Yeah. I remember someone said it, was it? Oh, oh, yeah, that, no. no. I don't think that was on the I, age. I think it was. Oh, I don't know. At the Hilton? Yeah, it was at the Hilton. See, why do I remember it then? I don't know. I just remember fucking Dev <laughs> off Coronation Street walking around like he was King, <laughs> King One. Um, a lot of people talk about Mbappe. I think, you know, he's just... People saying, have you seen The Wire? He's exploded onto the fucking finger. Yeah, I've seen The Wire. Have you seen The Wire? Nope. I've, I've watched, not the wire or breaking bad either I watched the well to be fair I watched the first season of the wire but the problem is is like because it's filmed in like 2001 it's on fucking smart you know you put it on your TV now it's like it's you're looking it's at it's square like yeah, all family guys yeah it's, it's not good Joe says do a podcast stoned on 420 is there no way to get edibles in the UK because I can't smoke I'll fucking throw up yeah you can just get get a fat boy to bake some alright okay so we've got a game on 420 but we could do it on 419 or 19 for the 4th um, tell the classic footy shirt website to get more Ronaldo 08 shirts are they all selling out Muster selling um, Yapsan personally signed 1999 Champions League final decent, shirt, or decent. replica shirts 2 ton unframed 3 ton framed um, signed academy shirt that's not a bad shout uh, I could get that very, very fucking easily um, very easily does Rogan pay his guests says Brad I don't know I could find out though uh I could find out. I could need to get myself on Rogan's podcast. <laughs> I am not good enough to go on Rogan's podcast. I don't think I'll ever be good enough to go on Joe Rogan's podcast. We are merely fishes in the pond where he is the shark. Um, how much does that Cantona shirt cost? The uh, the black one. It's over there, actually. Um, 85 quid? Something like that. What was it for? It's a classic football shirt. So it's an original from 95. Is it original? Yeah. Uh, MM says, "Where's the chisel, ladies? Are they are they still doing it? Have they discontinued it? We 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 need to get one, don't you? Because you you did donate for that. Um, why can't we get a deal with a club directly? Because they hate us. Uh, they don't like fan content, do they? Because we're fucking wild. <laughs> uh, so yeah, an academy signed shirt seems like something you guys are into. Someone's um, trying. They're trying to offer a fucking raffle. Trying to raffle for comic relief." A signed Liverpool training top. <laughs> All right. No. No. <laughs> One is for comic relief, which is. I don't know if you you know my thoughts on charity. Yeah. There's a there was a guy that like Joe Rogan had in his podcast the other day actually that has founded something called like fucking true altruism or some shit like that. So he lives off thirty five grand a year mm. and anything he makes a lot on speaking engagements. I think in like you know, he definitely does way over six figures. Uh, and he was talking about yeah he just fucking gives it all away he worked out Joe loads of charities do nothing they do not do fuck all it's like Some, eight... most of them got 90% operating costs yeah no yeah 90% plus That's it. listen to um, Immortal Technique mate Rich Man's World sick tune Immortal Technique uh, yeah the fucking 
Oh yeah, charities are a fucking I, scam. That's what I, that's an absolute scam. Yeah, I do something myself for charity. Do like donate my time and like you I'm know gonna, actually make a difference. But I'm gonna do something morning, for. Uh, I'm gonna start it for. I wanted to do it last year, but I was too late, and my channel's too small. Hopefully, by November this year, it's going to be in a little bit of a better place. Um, so one of the things I wanted to do is because I don't know if you know, a fucking massive percentage of Manchester's are homeless at least mm. is uh, X forces. So oh, from Remembrance Sunday, I wanted to see if we could do some donations. And I'll donate all the channel earnings because it's not a huge amount, but I'll do all the channel earnings for November. To go and buy homeless packs because I don't know how much you know. Homeless need they need toothbrush and toothpaste, and they need socks, mm. and they need bottles of water, and they need baby wipes, and, and that's it really. Don't give them money, give them food, give them drinks. That's the best thing you can do because there's a massive fucking drug and alcohol problem with people on the streets. That's lit, and a lot of it is just so they can fucking get through the day. Yeah, just you know, to take you. A I can't go for a shit about going on Twitter. So can you imagine what it's like just sat there, just in your own head mm. all day? No, I can I can see why they all get twisted. What the fuck else are you going to do? I talk some shit to myself anyway. <laughs> so one of the things I want to do is I want to start it on Remembrance Day and I want to go up to Christmas Eve with it mm. to see how many homeless so packs... So fucking cold as well. How many homeless packs can I buy and uh, you up for coming and giving them out with us? Mm. Do that over on Christmas Eve? So we'll do that on Christmas Eve because that's something I really wanted to do last year. My mum works at a homeless charity that actually does do some fucking good uh, and that's Mary and Joseph House in Manchester and they take people off the streets and they give them like a room. It's almost like being on an army camp. Well, what's that, what's that thing? Because like, I, I don't really go into Manchester that often but like I've seen recently there's like a billboard saying like Manchester trying to eradicate homelessness. Oh no, it's Manchester's going to end homelessness. That's a fucking that's bold a, claim. Yeah, that's it? a big statement. Like, what I've not actually seen what you know anything attached to that of what the actual plan is. My mum sent me a link about that the other day because I was talking to her about it because it, it fucking breaks my heart, man. Uh, Janine texted me today as well. She's like, "I'm gonna end up fucking broke by just giving money to every." She just like fucks it because obviously we've got a dog. Fazana does exactly the same thing. Anyone like, who's got a dog, we're not. Gets, well, no, that's not what dog, she was yeah. fucking thinking. Like anyone who's got a dog, but like homeless people who are out and about. Like there's it. She when she was working in town, it was a guy who. Um, he was homeless, but he didn't want to beg, so he wanted to do something. So he used to, well, he had like you know, if he's staying at a shelter at night or something, him and his missus, or if he's on his own, I can't remember. But he used to write poems, and he used to sell his there's poems. One opposite the bus station, in and town like, that write you a poem as a, is for a donation. Yeah, yeah. So like, I mean, Fair play. yeah, there's, you know, there's, they're trying to do something to elect positive change for themselves to try and you know, do something about it. Sad, really, man. It is. Uh, we've all hit fucking, you know, different varying degrees of rough times in our mm. lives, and it's maybe only through good fucking fortune that we've not ended up on the fucking street somewhere. The it's a never-ending cycle though. Once you end up on the streets, you can't get anything because you can't get any sort of benefits because you've not got an address. So you just you just, just become like, fucked. It's just a cycle. They cut you off, and you think is, uh, Colchester says twenty-four hour charity podcast. I'll do that. That's an easy one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we do that over a weekend, so we, we can fucking kip afterwards. Colchester 1000, great idea, mate. Um, so, yeah, we'll definitely fucking rock that one. Um, that's a really good idea. But I think I'd, I'd go and fucking spend the night out there um, with them, because it don't, fuck, it don't fucking bother me sleeping out mm. in the middle of nowhere. It's... Yeah, I mean, it must be bad, man. Especially put all them spikes on and all that shit as well, just to... I don't. I don't get it, man. You can treat. A, you can judge a society by how it treats those in need. Mm. Ultimately, every how we can just fucking ignore the issue that we've got. There shouldn't be anybody living on the streets. I mean, was the workhouse such a fucking bad thing in the, the Victorian times? I, I believe that some of the way you ended up there was a bit rum like, but surely hostels and things where it's just a fucking room and a fucking. Uh, and a bed you d- and a sleeping bag you can get me throw away shit put the yeah. eating on you don't need to be fucking they, wrapping them up they, they do there is there is like things now it's more like um, basic, basically houses where you know you be, you've got a room and you be, you be, oh, the, the government pays for those rooms but it's not there's not enough to house everyone and it's it's difficult and it's yeah there's a guy in the comments here with a great question how do people sorry uh, Graham Daly I'll get your name how do people become homeless? People become unhomeless. I can't think of any other avenue apart from a friend or family member taking you in. 
I remember, I'll tell you the story of how uh, Mary and Joseph House started, which is where my mum works. So basically, this guy, I think he got left a house and he was upset at how fucking homeless people couldn't get up for themselves, do you know what I mean? They couldn't fucking pull themselves out of the poverty they was in because they couldn't register for jobless uh, job seekers because they've mm. got no address. They can't do this because they've got no address. They can't do this because they've got no address. So I think what he did is he turned a terrace house, I think it was in Moston. It might have been Newton Heath. It might have been Niles Platton. It was somewhere around North Manchester anyway. And he turned the, this house, a terrace house, into like five bedrooms, essentially, or dorms. Just threw fucking beds in there. Yeah. And he had like a communal bathroom. And he was like, come and stay here. Get yourself sorted. You can write this. You can't be in here during the day, but you right. you can you can sleep here and you can register this as your address for work for job seekers and all that sort of shit. So he did that and then started fucking moving people on out of homelessness. What a fucking guy that is. Uh, maybe I'll talk to my mum. Maybe I'll get my mum on to talk about it. My mum is such a soft ass though. She literally cries at everything. And unfortunately, the place where she works, they ju- they they just die on a regular basis because they're coming. They're old guys generally. They've all got. Corsicos, which is a, a, a disease linked to alcoholism and obviously living rough and the poor diet that you get from just being on fucking Skull Super all day did, long. Did you see that, that video of that guy who'd been homeless in Mallorca for 25 years? Is this the guy that looked like a model after he shaved him? And yeah, that? and he and dyed his, his hair, uh, put him in an outfit and that, but like 25 years? And there's all these people who are like, oh yeah, do you recognise blah, 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 but what was you doing to help him? 25 years 25 years isn't it? it's I mean? no wonder a lot of them turn to crime and get locked up because they're like now I've got a fucking meal I've got a room it's probably safer in prison even though it's still grim in prison yeah. it's probably safer at least well they put you to work in prison but at least, you, you, at least you're not on the streets but well, that's just like slave labour last week I mean it snowed a bit last week didn't it or the week before there's a shop right near where their place is and the shop obviously is always chatting to my mum's place because they're not supposed to be going uh, and buying alcohol a lot of them are on like a two can thing just because mm. a lot of them have got alcohol problems or alcoholic tendencies so the shop round the corner's like always on the blower to them like is this one of yours like and they phoned her up and says oh, is, is this one of yours there's a guy just on the floor fucking passed out and so uh, my mum goes round uh, and the guy's like wakes up and he's like you know what's happening she goes um are you are you okay do you know um it wasn't one of hers mm. she's like what's happened and he's like oh, i'm homeless and he goes she, he didn't have a bag he, he's just like in jeans and a fucking jumper and he was just like kipping on the floor just in bezic and he was like it, she's like i can imagine she probably fucking cried her eyes out because she's such a, a soft ass like but she goes the um she went back the next day and he was still there and she's like like she she spoke to him the next day. She went. I think she she got my butty and a brew and some stuff like that. And, and she goes like, "How long have you been homeless for? How old are you?" He goes, "19." How long have you been homeless for? And he's like, eight years." Fucking hell. What? Eight years. Mate, Jaden's ten. This is a year older than Jaden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And was on the streets. Yeah, mad. Like, I mean, some people are for well, a lot of people are for, forced to do it. Aren't they? It's fucking madness. It's it's, it's it's the saddest thing ever, man. I can't believe. There's so many fucking empty properties, and uh, the the government and the councils waste so much fucking cash on trivial bullshit that you can't just open some places and put some heating on. You don't even have to furnish them; just make them like prison beds and stuff. Mm. Get them out of fucking cold. Just, just give them some running dry. water for yeah, a fucking no, drink. Fucking How hard is it? Is it really that fucking difficult? No, nah, I mean the amount of food that gets wasted by supermarket restaurants, everything. Sort of I'm oh, not God. sure. If, don't sure if Tesco like done a deal recently where all unsold food is going to get given away because like obviously the 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 date stamps that are putting on there just for for selling really a lot of it can go beyond that i mean i've eaten fucking bread that's like three four days you know what i mean because you, you just got to smell it oh yeah y'all got at one o'clock in the morning the day after it had gone off no. i like to live dangerously lads. <laughs> <laughs> told you i'm wild <laughs> but like that right that's just waste no you know you go to a homeless places or whatever and, and give that to people and you, you make well, it's, I don't know, it's mad and i mean somewhat i think it was um was it the other side said on there like oh, how do you how can you tell the difference between who's who's a scammer because there are scammers out there so, yeah. but the thing is if you're if you're trying to help someone you're doing it from 
a place of, of, it's goodness. A place of goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah goodness in your heart. So if someone's scamming you, then that's on them. If you're, you know, it's yeah. you, you can't tell. Yeah. Look, uh, if we do what I've envisaged doing, I think the packs cost about six or seven pound each to sort of make up. Mm. Uh, like some gloves, hats, you know, baby wipes, toothpaste, fucking socks. Because you know, imagine how your fucking feet get ma- minging. Yeah. Just fucking fresh. Fucking hell, my my feet are fucking minging. <laughs> like proper bad minging. Double trotters, yeah. Oh mate, yeah. Like, but when we went away, like it was my birthday when I was away, and like obviously my missus didn't get me a, a present, swat. So, she um she said, oh just give you you know for a day when is you on your actual birthday. Um, just for a bit of a relaxation and that sort of thing, I'll, I'll book you in a pedicure because your feet are fucked. <laughs> Thanks. Right, so it's for you, really, isn't it? Yeah, it was. <laughs> well, I, I had to pay for it anyway. Do you know That's what I mean? mean. It's for well, her. Yeah, yeah, it's for her. But yeah, it was, it was to be fair, it was all right. But yeah, they've gone back fucked again. <laughs> um, Colin in the comments says, "How do people become homeless in today's world?" That's what I want to know. Um, a lot of them is usually a falling out with family member, a falling out with a partner. But that must be such a mad decision. I mean, I've got a pretty strong family. you got a pretty strong family. Mm. If anything happened with you and the missus or you lost your house, I know fucking your mum's taking you in. No problem. Yeah, yeah. But some people have had bad falling outs where they but can't some, Yeah, some, some are from abusive families. And Abuse you know is I mean? probably a big one as well. Yeah, where Some like, people don't have anyone. Yeah. They literally don't have anyone. Oh, mate, I mean? there was a guy that used to live in the in the room. When, uh, when I was on, in the army on camp, there uh, used to be 36 people in our block. And six people per wing, and we shared a kitchen, toilets, and shower mm. and stuff like that. But it was like a full size double bedroom. It was all right. The guy that lived next to me, right, in the space of like four months, had his entire family die. And I'm not like, oh, uh, mum and dad, right? It was both his grandparents, his mum and his dad, a couple of cousins, and aunt. It was like, it was all unconnected, and it was all like illnesses, a crash. And it was like, mm. it was, but in the space of like four fucking months, this poor motherfucker, and he, he was so broke. That because he, he was shelling out for funerals. Yeah, yeah. Funerals ain't cheap. You get fucking slapped for a funeral. Oh innit? yeah, fucking hell! It's like headstones and stuff like that. Ten grand. And uh, the British Legion ended up fucking stepping in. The squadron and the British Legion ended up stepping in because the guy was fucked, mate. And this was like months before we got to war, and he's dealing with fucking all that shit. And the, the British Legion stepped in and started paying for some of the funerals and headstones and things like that. For, I think for his mum, they, they paid him for stuff like that because he'd gone to the gaffer and gone, like. <laughs> My whole wages for the last three months has just gone on fucking funerals and headstones and burials. Because you, you have to fuck. You can't just be like, oh, just keep them in the freezer for us until I get some dough. They're like, no, you need to get them buried and you need to fucking pay. And plots aren't cheap. Yeah, it's Coffins fine. ain't cheap. You, what, no. you mean, what do you do? Even like, yeah, basic, you basic can, Mate, you can bury me. If, if I go before you, put me in a fucking bag. I don't want a fucking expensive wooden box, mate. <laughs> Throw me in a fucking bag. I'll wrap me in a Union Jack. I think I get that being a soldier. British Legion actually pay for that, actually, for me. For a flag? Yeah, they pay for my flag now. That's all right. So whenever I die, throw me in my flag and throw me in the fucking dirt. Yeah, that's crazy. Jobs are fucking good. Uh, right, I think we'd probably call that a fucking day. I was up for a fucking uh, bit of a left turn. Yeah, I don't think we talked <laughs> about any uh, any football. Fucking job. Mission accomplished, <laughs> <lad>. <laughs> Um, any comments that are worth reading out let's have a look uh, why don't we people team up with supermarkets and stay frigging outside after hours and cook all the f- uh, throwaway food there's a lot of stuff happens around Christmas because I think obviously it pulls on people's heartstrings thinking of people being alone and stuff like that at Christmas mm. um, and I think there's like a lot of soup kitchens and stuff like that but I mean yeah. there's loads of things out there you just gotta go and have do it I mean everyone's guilty of being too busy aren't they of their own lives, you've got you know, kids, got a job, you've got to look oh, at the Oh, mate, I, like, I walk past them I mean? all the time. Yeah, and, and, I, you know, I mean, I... I, I, you know, I feel I, bad I, for it, then, on the way. I'm like, fuck if, I, if I've got any money, I'll always... If I see... Because I don't really see... Because I don't really go into town, so that is where the majority of it is. Like, when I go to... I mean, just around, well, around our ways, there's, there's no really anyone begging out on the streets. Yeah, the only other people that I see minutes. is people selling Big Issue. So if they're selling Big Issue... I mean, I'm not really asked about I'm having a big issue because, yeah, I might read it, but I would much rather, well, if I've got change or whatever, or I've got money, I'll just give him that money and say, look, even if it's not enough, just keep it, don't worry about it, or if it's enough for it, just, you know, keep it, just sell it again, because what's like four or five quid, do you know what I mean, to me, fuck all. Spend it's a on, meal, minute. It's a meal for a month. Yeah, spend it on bullshit, there. so, like, I'm not, like, I'm not really asked. it's just, you know, it's not doing masses of things, but. 
the uh, there was a guy in Oldham uh, when I used to work at Allied, um, and there was a guy who used to see him all the fucking time. And I used to go to Sainsbury's every day. Most of the time, and I used he did to go, that. You, you, did, you did go to Sainsbury's every day. I met you there a few times, and I used most to work time, in Oldham. Yeah, mate. Uh, I, I did it mostly because I hated my job. And I just wanted <laughs> to be out of the building. <laughs> And I'd, I'd go and sit in my car and eat my dinner. I, I could have sat at my desk and not ball busted myself. No, I need to get out of this fucking building. Yeah. So uh, I, there used to be a guy at the back entrance or the back exit uh, with a dog. And he had a name shaved into the side of the dog as well. It was really strange. But um, I, 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 was in, I was feeling fucking strange one day. And I, I ended up just fucking sitting down. I bought him a butty and a, I think one of them chicken skewers. And I think I got him something for the dog. I just fucking sat down and chat to the guy. Turned out it was forces, so he ended up having a fucking chat about his army career and how he ended up on the fucking streets and mm. stuff like that. And I got in the car and I was fucking devoured, man. I was like, could have been me. Yeah, it's, it's, it's mad how it's just like one thing that's fucks up and things don't align. And it goes. Fuck it. Anyway, thank you everybody for joining in. Uh, we will... Uh, Fill you in on Reddit, maybe, a little bit more about what we're planning on doing with the Patreon. Definitely going to do something for charity around, for me, Remembrance, but we'll, we'll build it up to do something for Christmas Eve. Um, when do you reckon we should do the 24-hour thing? I don't know. Because if we're going to do a donation, right? you want it ahead of, uh, you want it with enough time for us to go and get the packs in. Do we do that first week of December, maybe? Well, there's loads of stuff like, you know, if you've got a new shit, like, this guy at my work, he goes to... Um, I didn't even I didn't even know he um, he goes to Iraq he's, he's uh, helps out with an orphanage in Iraq so it takes like kids toys clothes whatever nappies and shit so see I've got loads of toys loads of kids clothes that she, she goes out of and anything else he needs like I can just slide it over to him yeah we'll uh, we'll figure it all out but uh, I really like that idea uh, I can't remember the guy that mentioned it but it was a fucking class idea a 24 hour podcast we'll it's not hard is it we're sitting here talking shit and we're going to make someone a little bit more comfortable at a fucking horrible time of the year with the weather and Aye. everything else so lads and lasses if there's any in here there's not many but I think there's probably a couple um, thank you guys for joining us we will hit that Patreon thing up because there is definitely things that we want to do and it clearly there's a there's a bit of a desire from you guys to do that as well, so we'll uh, we'll try and sort that shit up, and um, that'll do us. So uh, thank you for uh, joining us. We'll see you soon. Later.